Has anybody ever told you you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not talented enough? What do you do with that? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm so glad you came by to join us today for a gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. And we begin every week with a happy share. And my happy share is I've been figuring out what I can eat that allows me to control all the severe nausea that goes on because of the nerve damage that happened. Now what that does is it lets me do workouts. And most of my life, pretty much all my life, I've been addicted to being able to work out, to be an athletic, to having fun, to move and to do and things. But I haven't been able to do that since the brain tumor got in the way and then even after it was removed because of the damage. Wow, I'm really happy that I'm figuring this stuff out. So, what is it when people are telling you these awful things that limit you? When you're born, you don't have programs in there. You're actually born happy if you're born healthy, normal, full term. So what happens? The people in your environment, they're feeding the information to you that you aren't good enough, that you aren't smart enough. Why are you so slow? Why can't you figure that out? Why are you so dumb? Why are you so fat? Why are you so skinny? Oh, you're not talented enough. Why would you even think you can do that? Those programs went in from your birth on up to about age seven because you didn't have the ability to shut them out. And those are the programs that are running you. Do you know that you're only actually present in your life about 5% of the time? The other 95%, all that's running you is your subconscious programs, the deep ones, that you don't know what they are. That's why you can't get rid of them. So when your conscious mind says, hey, I'm going to create a new way of life. Hey, I'm going to create a new action. Hey, I'm going to create and pursue and achieve some new goals. Well, to do that, you need to live consciously. And that's what a metaphysical ministry is all about. The fact that you create your reality by what you focus on, by what you put your energy into, and all starts here in your heart. Every cell in your body has brain in it. But guess what? It's not your brain that runs things. It's your heart. It's your feelings. Your feelings tell your brain what to do. Your body your mind await direction from your spirit. If you've never been here before, when you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For is visualizing a reality for someone that's not already existing. Maybe they want to live someplace different. Maybe they're looking for a new relationship, a new career. Maybe they want a new, different bicycle. Is there something in your life that you don't have right now? Let us know. It will appear up there on the page. You come back here at least once a week. Read every name and what people ask for. Doesn't matter if you don't know who they are, because the universe does. If you haven't done so already, please go in over there. For your name and email, I'll trade you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. I really appreciate your click and like and share. I wish you a week filled with many blessings and paying attention to living in the moment, to living in the now, to living consciously.